So picking up on this next problem, it doesn't matter how crazy the variables get. As long as you have four terms and you see something in common here and something in common there, you're good to go. So if I take a look overall, there's nothing that all four of them have in common. So I can go ahead and split it up. And if I take a look at this first half, 15 and 6, I could take out a 3. And they both have an x, so I can take out an x. Well, 15xy, if I take out 3, I'm left with 5. Still have a y. In the second half, if I take out 3x, I'm left with 2x. Now remember, whatever I take out of the second half, my goal is to be left with 5y plus 2x. So I'm not going to take out positive. I need to take out a negative to turn those into a positive. And then I notice that they both have an n in common. So I'm going to take out negative n. And then I'm going to be left with 5y plus 2x. Positive because I took out a negative and changed that sign. So what's one of my factors? 3x minus n. What's your other factor? 5y plus 2x. And even though it's not in alphabetical order and it's not even, sometimes you put the 5y first, it's okay because it's in the order that we left it in, that we factored it in. The crazier it is, sometimes it's harder to get it in that right order. It's not as clear as it was on the first one. That's okay. Taking a look at this one right here, I have some pretty big numbers. I see 12, 20, 84, 140. If you look at all the way across, there's not an A in all of them. This one's missing an A. If I take out a 2, I'm left with 6, 10, 42, 70. I could take out a 2 again, which means I don't want to factor out a 2. I want to factor out a 4 first. I'm going to use brackets because I'm going to split it with parentheses from there. So if I take out a 4, I'm left with 3xy plus 5xa minus 21ay minus 35a squared. And now I'm going to group it. Looking at the first half, the only thing that the first half has in common, and notice I'm still putting my 4 in the bracket. That was the first thing I factored out. I can't forget about it. What's the only thing that's in common here? x. So that's all that I can take out is x. And then I'm left with 3y plus 5a. Well, then I have to look at the second half. And remember, I need those positives. So I'm going to take out negative. 21 and 35 have a 7 in common. And I see that they both have an a. So if I take out negative 7a, I'm going to hopefully be left with 3y, which I am, plus now 5a. Because negative 7a times positive 5a would give you negative 35a squared. Remember to go backwards, you're just multiplying. So what's your very first factor? 4 is the first thing that we took out. And then I have x minus 7a times 3y plus 5a. And that's it. The nice part about factoring by grouping is that you don't have to set up your x and do all of that because you have 4. You already have an even number. So group it, split it in half. Taking a look at this one, 3, 2, 27, 18. I can't take a 3 out. You might think that, but 2 can't take that out. There's Don't all have an X, so just go ahead, group it in half, and start taking it piece by piece. So the first half, I can take out an X squared, and then I'll be left with 3X plus 2. The second half, I can take out a minus 9, and I'm left with 3X plus 2. So I get x squared minus 9 times 3x plus 2. But you're not done because hopefully you're recognizing something right here. Hopefully you said it. It's a difference of squares. Or ds for short. Remember, difference of squared is a squared minus b squared, and it just factors to a plus b times a minus b. So if you have a perfect square minus a perfect square, all that you're going to do is square root each piece. So the square root of x squared is x. Square root the 9, and I get 3. 
Remember, just make them conjugates because that conjugate cancels out your middle term. So make one positive, make one negative. And then my last factor was 3x plus 2. This is the type of problem where you have to be careful because if you left x squared minus 9, you didn't factor it. If you have a factor that's x squared minus 64 and you don't factor it, well, then you didn't factor it. That would factor to x plus 8 times x minus 8. If I change that 64 to a 49 and a 4 out front, then I would get 2x plus 7 because the square root of 4x squared is 2x, and then it would be 2x minus 7. But if you can keep factoring, then you have to keep factoring. So this comes out for me to have. I have a linear, a linear, and a linear factor. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. But if you can keep going, remember, if you have a difference of squares, ds, then you got to keep going. Taking a look at this one, I have all s's. 15, 10, 6, 8. Unfortunately, there's nothing in common there. So just group it up. Start taking things out. So I could take out 5s squared, and I'm left with 3s plus 2. And the second half, I'm going to take out a negative 2, and I'm left with 3s plus 2. That's it. 5s squared minus 2 times 3s plus 2. That's a 5. My s's always look like 5. My 5's always look like s's and vice versa. So you have a quadratic factor and a linear factor. 2 plus 3 makes, 2 plus 1 makes 3. That's it. So I almost think factoring by grouping is easier because you don't have to do this anymore. And you don't have to go from three terms and turn it into four terms. They already give it to you with four terms. Then you just have to group it up. If I take a look, so I have k to the fourth power. And then I have k cubed, k squared, k. I could take out a k, and if I look at my numbers, they're all even. So I'm not just going to take out a k. I'm going to take out a 2k. And then I'm left with 6k cubed plus 9k squared plus 14k plus 21. And now I'm going to group it up and see what I have. Not forgetting about my 2K up front. So in the first grouping, I can take out 3K squared, and I'll be left with 2K plus 3. Think of it, what's 6K cubed divided by 3K squared? 6 divided by 3 is 2. K cubed over K squared is K. So that was the first half. And now looking at the second half, 14 and 21 have a 7 in common, and then there's no other variable, so it's just 2k plus 3 again after I take out that 7. So my first factor was 2k, and then I have 3k squared plus 7, and then 2k plus 3, and you could leave it in that order. So I have a linear, I have a quadratic, and I have a linear. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. The exponents in your factors should add up to the exponents in your original because after you multiply what's k times k squared times k, that is k to the fourth power. So just a quick way to check it, but factoring by grouping, almost easier than having to set up the x because for a lot of you, that's the hard part and you don't have to do that anymore.